you know, it is, I get a small amount of satisfaction realizing that, like, everything now is primarily from Monsi. You know, the deadbeats are primarily from Monsi. Um, Margo and the Nuclear So and So is the genesis of that started in Monsi. You know, like, my band started from Monsi. And we've all been in bands together, and we all play on each other's, have all played on each other's records in the past, you know. And, and it, it's nice to know that they all, like, we've all moved down here, like, at certain times over the last few years, and it's nice to know that, you know, we're all, it wasn't just that, it was a small town. I mean, it was like, wow, you know, like, we're all doing something that people would want to hear. So it's, there's a small amount of satisfaction on my end to know that, like, what we were doing was actually pretty good, you know. And it's nice to be a part of something like that. So when they leave, at, you know, it's almost like they're representatives, um, you know, in some way, and they're going to take a piece of Indianapolis away with them just as much as we're going to give a piece of ourselves to them. And so, I, you know, I, I feel really validated when the recognition comes back. You know, the, the bands are still there, and there's still great music coming out of, out of Indiana. The only problem now is we don't have as many venues as we did. I think the city needs to continue on um, the, the older portion of the city, be it city legislation or whoever, needs to continue to legitimize the activities of young musicians, punk rockers and whatever by providing, you know, being uh, courteous or, or uh, cooperative as far as establishing all ages venues and, you know, um, doing things to promote music. I think though, I think there's a lot of hurdles uh, and a lot of things that the scene really needs to, to step up to and, and do to keep that vibrant and keep that going because I could, there's something about Indianapolis that I think that momentum could be lost pretty quickly. You know, I think the city gives an incredible amount of money and does a great job in supporting the arts, but I think, you know, I, I, I think the music could use a little attention and micro grants to musicians and bands. and websites and projects like what you're doing, I think that would really help things here too. There will always be something about us that is um, you know, regional and, and local, um, very Midwestern. Um, it's one of the things that drew Justin Vernon from Mon Iver to Jag Jaguar was we're Midwest, you know, you can, you can tell when you talk to us, you can tell by the way we do things as a record label, but it all boils down to how we rep best represent our bands and how we can put and keep them on a sustainable career path. Um, and I really think that's, that's, that's uh, rooted in sort of Midwestern ethic and aesthetic. And uh, so yeah, well, that's, that's what we are, you know, that's what we do. Darling, I'm tired. Should be